Okay, don't mind the rest of my room right now, but I'm going to share some psych ward experiences with you because, hey, I miss the place like hell, and that's a normal thing. That's a normal experience is to miss the psych ward, and I just want you to know that if you do miss it, that's okay. That's normal. Talk to your therapist or somebody that you trust about those feelings, and hopefully they'll have a positive response. Um... One of my supports, the reason I don't tell him is because he's never been to one. He won't, he doesn't understand why I miss it, how I miss it. And just kind of said, like, you can't just go back whenever you want. And I'm like, I know this, but like, I'm not talking about him in a bad way at all. I'm not, but he doesn't understand it. But you could talk to your therapist about it if you have one. And that is. That's helpful to me to talk to my therapist about it because she understands because, you know, she's a therapist. She just understands. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm a transgender male, even though these slippers are very feminine. <laughs> I don't really care. I just wanted to put something on my feet so you didn't have to stare at my bare toes. Um, so uh, there's that. I guess the thing about the psych ward that I miss the most is the connectedness and all the people that were there. Not just the staff, but the other patients. Well, I guess not just the other patients, but the staff. Um, they were all nice to me, and I guess I miss misbehaving with the other patients and taking things apart that we shouldn't and licking markers and flinging rice at the wall and one kid threw butter, and I just kind of miss that chaos that I got to have. It's like, I'm mentally ill, so I'm going to act difficult. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Not crazy. Just because you get admitted to a psych ward doesn't mean you're a crazy person, okay? Um, you decide if you're a crazy person, not society. Society shouldn't have to decide that because that's not fair to you. If society decides that, that's not fair. Um, me... Do I consider myself a crazy person? Sometimes. I mean, especially my behavior. But ki crazy, crazy like, wow, ADHD, my ADHD makes me crazy. <laughs> Not like mad crazy that I'm going to hurt everybody kind of crazy. No, not that kind of crazy. But sometimes it feels like I'm that way. But you're not a crazy person just because you went to a psych ward or a mental hospital or a psychiatric hospital or whatever you want to call it um an inpatient unit i don't know different people call them different things but um the reason i post these videos is because i want to share my experiences and spread the word that we're people too i'm a transgender person and being transgender is tough the first time i was admitted I had been bullied at school for a while. I had gotten kicked out of regular school, suspended for making threats to somebody, and I regret doing that, and that was a stupid thing that I did, but um, I went to a different school within the, still, the, still within the school s system. We have this thing called, like, the Blue House, where our school is, like, well, if you misbehave, we're going to put you in a house full of a bunch of other misbehaved kids, and that's your punishment, even though I enjoyed my time there. But the big reason I don't miss that place is because there was a lot of shit that went down. Sure, it's fun to reflect back on some of the memories, but I got into fights there, and it was just not good. My mental health was at a declining state from... December 2022 to February 2023, my mental health was just declining, getting worse and worse and worse, and I just, it was rough. So there's that, and after I had kind of gotten to, not, not like a full-on fist fight, kind of after I got into some behave more major behavioral issues, I... The principal said, like, hey, we recommend he goes to a psych ward. Basically, he's like, yeah, your kid should be admitted. <laughs> um, like, you don't have to, but here's some paperwork 
to forcibly admit him if you decide to go that route. And I just voluntarily, because I'm like, I think that I should, and that it's less paperwork. Both times I was there voluntarily. Um, but if I say it, but I, by voluntary, I mean that I agreed to everything. Like I didn't have, I didn't have to agree to anything, but I didn't really have a choice. I mean, I could have just disagreed and then that's more paperwork and court stuff. But the first time a doctor and a psychologist were like, yeah, you need to be admitted, called up to the nearest place. And they're like, yep you got a, they got a bed open, you're going up there right now, and I'm like, oh, okay, um, and then last time my therapist is like, uh, yeah, you need to be admitted, (laughs) so she called my dad, came, he came home from work, and then he took me up to the ER in that area, so it'd be an easier admission process, and they almost didn't have a bed for me at the nearest one, but then they did last minute, somebody had gotten into trouble with cops or something, but, Now, I'm not going to name people's names because safety reasons, protecting their personal privacy, but a kid that I had seen for a few seconds was walking out with the police. So there's that. Um, But yeah, my experiences, I miss the hospital because it's where I got better. It's where things got good for me. I miss group therapy, I miss art therapy, I miss all the therapies that we had, all the different groups that we had, I miss going outside with the other patients, I miss, not inmates, patients, they're not inmates, I miss going outside with the other patients, I miss pretty much everything about it, the food, the food was, um, it was okay, it was hospital food, hospital food is expensive, by the way, and it's not even the best kind of food you can get, but you know, their cheesy potatoes were good, even though some of the parts were kind of hard. I wouldn't mind eating hospital food again if it meant I had to go back. And I feel like I would sacrifice so much just to go back there. But I can't because I'm at a good standing point and somebody else needs that bed. And I want that person to have that needs it to have the bed, not me just because I miss the place. And I can't go back just because I miss the place. I can go back if I desperately need to go there. And my thoughts have been getting kind of tricky again, but I still have a way to little I still have a will to live. So that's good on my end. And it's I don't know, it's just tricky. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed me kind of talking about my admission experiences, I guess. It's not like the movies. You don't get put in a straitjacket in an isolation room with padded walls and everything. That's not what it's like. Look up some pictures on the internet and some TikToks, some videos, YouTube shorts about people who've actually been there, and they'll show you, hey, it's not some dimly lit room. The rooms are pretty bright, if you ask me, and the beds aren't the most comfortable, but I think that they're comfy and special stuff there so that you aren't at danger or other people. So I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to check out my other videos. I do make more psych word videos. Um, Yeah, ka and it's always a